An oar is an implement used for waterborne propulsion. Oars have a flat blade at one end. Oarsmen grasp the oar at the other end. The difference between oars and paddles are that paddles are held by the paddler, and are not connected with the vessel. Oars generally are connected to the vessel by means of Rolex or Thales which transmit the applied force to the boat. In this system the water is the fulcrum. Oarsmen generally face the stern of the vessel, reach as far as they can towards the stern, and insert the blade of their oar in the water. As they lean back towards the vessel's bow, the blade of their oars sweeps the water towards the stern, providing forward thrust sea lever. For thousands of years vessels were powered either by sails, or the mechanical work of oarsmen, or paddlers. Some ancient vessels were propelled by either oars or sail, depending on the speed and direction of the wind. History Rowing oars have been used since the early Neolithic period. Wooden oars, with canoe-shaped pottery, dating from 5000-4500 BC have been discovered in a Hemadu culture site at Yuyao, Zhejiang, in modern China. In 1999, an oar measuring 63.4 cm in length, dating from 4000 BC, was unearthed at Ishikawa Prefecture, Japan. Construction Oars have traditionally been made of wood. The form is a long shaft with a flat blade on the end. Where the oar connects to the boat there is a collar, which stops the oar slipping past the rollick. Oars usually have a handle about 150 mm long, which may be a material sleeve or alternatively an ovoid shape carved to fit the hands. Balanced oar. This is a normal, usually wooden oar to which weight has been added at the inboard end so that the blade end is noticeably lighter and easier for a rower to operate without fatigue. The two methods of adding weight are to either have a much larger section in the oar immediately next to the handle for a distance of about 450 mm or to drill an 18 mm hole inside the handle for a distance of about 150 mm and add about 12 ounces of lead secured by epoxy resin glue. For a 7 foot oar the balance point is about 12 inches outboard of the rollick. This type of oar is much better for long-range rowing. Oars used for transportation The oars used for transportation come in a variety of sizes. The oars used in small dinghies or rafts can be less than 2 meters long. In classical times warships were propelled by very long oars that might have several oarsmen per oar. These oars could be more than a dozen meters long. Oars used for competitive rowing the oars used in competitive rowing are long poles with one flat end about 50 cm long and 25 cm wide, called the blade. The part of the oar the oarsman holds while rowing is called the handle. While rowing, the oars are supported by metal frames attached to the side of the boat called outriggers. Classic oars were made of wood, but modern oars are made from synthetic material, the most common being carbon fiber. Oars used as trophies. The sport of competitive rowing has developed a peculiar tradition of using an oar as a memento of significant race wins. A trophy oar is not presented at the end of the race as a more familiar precious metal cup might be, but rather given by the club, school or university that the winning crew or rower represented. A trophy oar is a competition oar that has been painted in the club colors and has then had the details of the race sign written on the face of the blade. The most common format would have the coat of arms or crest of the club or school positioned in the center, with the crew names and the race details arranged around this. Many older universities and their colleges have long histories of using the trophy oar and many examples are on display in clubhouses around the world. In culture, the Norwegian municipalities of Fedja and Heroi have oars in their coat of arms. Oars have been used to describe various animals with characteristics that closely resemble the said rowing implement. The members of the family Regalesidae, elongated deep sea fishes, are called oarfish because their body shape is similar to that of an oar. The hawks built turtles genus of Eretmoshles is derived from the Greek root Eretmo, which roughly translates to oar. The turtle was so named because of the oar-like shape of its front flippers.